Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine. You know, Jesus went about throwing tables upside down, clearing things off of tables in the temple. He turned everything upside down, cleared the temple out of all the stuff he saw. So what did he see? He saw things that shouldn't have been in the temple. He saw unholiness. He saw toxic things like selling instead of praying for God. He saw things that shouldn't be in that temple. And when we realize that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit, maybe we should turn over a few tables inside of us. Maybe the toxicity of where we live and this face of this earth, the face of this earth that fills us full of doubt, fills us full of fear, fills us full of um, under, not understanding and no knowledge and wisdom. Maybe too much of that is in our mind. Maybe we're listening to too much of social media instead of God's media. There's so much toxic that we don't realize it is in our lives that keep us from receiving the blessings of God. The way people think, the way they're acting, we're not supposed to be of the world. You see, we are supposed to soar with the Lord. But how can we be blessed? How can you receive from God if you can't even stop the fear that you're facing and bound on this earth? How can you become more like God if you're so bound together on the face of this earth that you receive more of what, of what the world has to give you, the fear, the doubt? The, the misunderstandings, the unforgiveness, the anger, the disappointments, the frustration that go with all of life that's over the top. I'm not saying you can't have these things, but sometimes they hinder us from receiving from God. And so God has a way of handling things in our lives. And but to stay in fear to where we're so bound in it, we need something to overturn in our life and overturned in our heart. And I think once we start taking some of these toxic things out of our body and replacing it with God, then we start seeing things on a different level. Then maybe then we can soar with God instead of being so bound to the earth. We can't even see him or hear his face. I don't know, see, see him or hear what he has to say to us. Amen and amen. Just think about that. Meditate on that for a while. Let me just pray for you because I know healing is there for you. In Jesus is saying, I just call upon the most heavenly, I, most heavenly God Almighty. I call, Lord God, upon open heavens for healing to fall down to each and every one of my listeners and their family. I pray out, Lord God, the coronavirus, the virus 19 has got to stop. It loses its sting for all death and sickness. I thank you, Lord God, that tumors of cancer roll off the body, fall off the body, and all cancer is healed in the sinuses and in the brain tumors. I thank you, Lord God, the spines are lined up, hips, hips, Lord God, are, are complete and strong, and your bones are strong. I thank you, Lord God, for arthritis. It just has to leave that body because your bones are strong. I believe that God is healing you. I believe he's healing your eyes and your ears, and Jesus' name is for those who are weak in that area. I thank you, Lord God, for, for kidneys and livers and pancreas that are healed and made whole, that all sickness and disease has to leave that body. And all strength and courage come in in Jesus' name. Rise up, everybody, because God is in you and with you. Rise up, become the man or the woman that God is urging you to be, that is pushing us in the spirit to be. Amen and amen. Go out and make it a great rise and shine today. Remember, I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube, and <clears throat> Instagram. Look me up, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.